In today's video, I will show you guys how to design this party flyer in Corel Draw. If you're new, don't forget to subscribe. Without any further ado, let's jump straight to the video. Every resources of this video or on this tutorial, I'm going to put the link of this in the down description below. So you can check it out and make use of it, alright? So, what we're going to do now is change our size. And the size we're making use of is um, 10 by 10 inches. So to do that, um, come over to your property bar. All right, we have the menu bar, standard bar, and property bar. Now, under the property bar, select um, your unit and change it to inches. All right, so under your um, property bar, again, uh, select your page dimension, change it to 10 by 10 inches, and press enter on your keyboard. Now, this is what you're going to have. So, the next thing we're going to do is I'm going to bring in my rectangle tool on my choose bar. All right, this is your rectangle tool over here. All right, and um, draw just right here and uh, come over to your page dimension and change to 10 by 10 inches. Press enter, enter on your keyboard, enter key on your keyboard. All right, then as you can see, it's not fitted to frame. Now you have to press letter P on your keyboard to make it fit into the frame, right? So press letter P together, all right? And boom, guys, this is basically what you're going to have. So the next thing we're going to do is Come over here and change, um, remove the black stroke, all right? You can see we have a black stroke here. So to remove that, come over to this sign over here. I don't know the name actually. I'm going to right click and select set outline color. And this is what we're going to have. So I'm going to press letter P to make it fit into the frame. If I'm too fast, guys, please, I'm sorry. And um, the next thing we're going to do is I'm going to import our stock images for this tutorial. So to do that, come over to your menu bar. This is your menu bar over here. I'm using Corel Draw 2021 in case if you want to ask. So um, come over to File, Locate Import. For those of you who have not actually um, replied to your messages on Instagram, I'm going to reply all your messages, guys. All right. I'm going to come over to this and uh, select all of this file. So in this file here are the names of the fonts and um, the text we're making use of. So I'm going to click on Import. And basically, I'm going to place this over here. So as you can see, guys, we are just making use of how many background? One, two, three, and this picture. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to right click on this and um, select. Okay, but before then, let's bring in this um, this background, all right, and place it here. Then I'm going to right click on this image, select power clip. When you right click, select the image and right click on it. Right click with your mouse, right click. Then you can see power clip inside them once you select it you'll see this arrow now what you're going to do is you're going to basically um point to this and left click immediately it's going to take itself into the frame as you can see it is inside the frame now what i'm going to do is i'm going to right click and select edit power clip you can see edit power clip here once you select edit power clip you can see this background and this background are not active so we're living with this uh active image so i'm going to just place this here all right so most of you might be wondering why i downloaded that background and um okay let me answer that question before we go ahead now i'm going to click on finish after um placing our our image all right now if you come if you look at the hair over here we have a blue hair like the hair is colored blue so that's why i brought this background all right to you know blend with this all right so we don't we're not gonna do much on this we're gonna right click on this and select power clip so we're gonna place it into this frame we're gonna right click and select edit power clip edit power clip now i'm gonna highlight this background and use shift plus page down shift plus page down on your keyboard hold shift shift key on your keyboard then press page down you will see page down check your right hand on your keyboard the right hand side page down this way now i'm going to basically work i'm going to scale this up scale it up what i mean by scale it up you have to expand the background to fit into the frame now we're going to go to effect select adjust then um sorry we're going to select blur and we use gaussian blur then i'm going to come over to this and reduce this to this part and i'm going to use 12.4 pixels then click ok and um, on this image i'm going to go to effect select adjust select color balance 
All right, so as you can see, this is actually blended to the background. As you can see now, we have um, cyan to be minus 17, magenta minus 28, and um, our blue to be 24. And click OK. You can use my settings, guys. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to select my rectangle tool and um, draw just right here. Then I'm going to give it this black color, perfect black. And to make, you know, it's on CNYK, to make it the perfect black, you have to basically double click on this corner thumbnail, all right? You can draw this this way and uh, come to your corner viewer over here and select your corner model and change to RGB, corner viewer, corner model, RGB. Then you can see this point over here, drag it down here. You can see we have our perfect black and um, end up printing or not printing. Perfect black is RGB. Note that, all right? Now, select the transparency tool on your keyboard over here. Sorry, on your tools board. Then you're going to drag this way. All right? Click and drag. Click and drag. If you want to fade out this edge, click this way. Highlight this way, this way. All right? Why are we doing this? We're actually fading the edge to the background just right here. Now, I'm going to basically draw this one this way all right now what we're gonna do is i'm gonna click on finish and leaving us with this now basically guys i'm gonna right click on this image and select power clip place it into the frame right click again and select and it's power clip and i'm gonna drag this just right here i'm gonna change this to black and white by coming over to bitmap and select mode and change it to grayscale I'm going to select my transparency tool, go to my blend mode, select your transparency tool after changing to grayscale, then select your transparency tool, go to your blend mode on your property bar, then convert this to overlay, just right here, and this is basically what you're going to have. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select my shift, 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 shift key on your keyboard and press let uh, and press page down on your keyboard. Now use control plus page up and take it up just right here then we're going to scale this up this way and basically bring this one down here all right so this is basically what we're gonna have so let me just scale this one down this way all right so once we're done with that i'm going to select my transparency tool and fade it out a bit just right there and this is what we're going to have so i'm going to click on finish and um the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to come over to my text. As you can see, these are the names of the fonts we're going to be making use of. And um, I'm going to highlight everything and use Ctrl plus C to copy. And um, come over to my text too. And um, drop this way and use Ctrl plus V to paste. And uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to give it the white color so we're going to see. Now the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to cut out this and use Ctrl plus K to cut it up this way and place it just right here and use Ctrl plus V to paste, Ctrl plus V to paste, all right? So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to basically come over to this and select this font, all right? Select this font and the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to come over to this and paste it just right there. If you don't have this font, basically use the name of the font and download all right, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to basically scale this up and use Ctrl plus K on my keyboard to break it apart. Ctrl plus K, Ctrl plus K, break it apart just right here. All right, so I'm going to just add X, supposed to be vibes and grind. I'm going to use Ctrl Shift F3 on my keyboard. Or you come back to your text over here. Select um, change case as you can see shift plus f3 and select uppercase and click on ok so you're going to basically do same to this i'm going to use the shortcuts shift plus f3 and uppercase click on ok or basically you can go to your text you can see change case over here so that is it guys so basically i'm going to just um select this you can do this in two ways you can basically select Come over to this and use 90 degree just right here change it to 90 degree 90 degree that is rotational um tools over here all right change it to 90 degree or you can 
highlight this and um, flip it just right here. Anyone that works for you is fine. So I'm going to just put this to 90 degree. And I'm going to bring this one just right here. And, um, you know, um, scale this up just right here. So once you scale it up, you're going to just scale this up the more right. Just scale it up just right there and leave that to that. I'm going to make sure this is basically what um, kind of closer to each other. Now, the font I'll be using for this is called the Southern. All right, so this is the name of the font. All right, so I'm going to basically what? Give this a light yellow for now. All right, I'm going to drag this up and scale this up this way, leaving us with just this. And this is basically what you're going to have. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to bring in this background and select effects go to blur select version blur and just blow it a little bit all right 33.3 pixels is fine and i'm going to right click and select power clip place it into this frame all right so i'm going to basically what drag it in here copy it paste it just right here copy ctrl c to copy ctrl v to paste then right click again select power clip and place it into this one and uh, you can basically you know adjust it just the way you want it to look like all right so the next thing i'm going to do is i'm going to copy this paste it just right here all right cut this one paste it just right here all right so i'm going to cut this and uh paste just right here now the next thing i'm going to do is uh basically all right i'm going to change this to Okay, let me use the font I'll be making use of this is called Atkins, alright? This one. Alright, so but I'm making use of the bold one. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna basically um break this apart. Alright, so once I break it apart, I'm gonna place this one here, place this one here. So the DJ that is coming for this one is DJ M90. All right. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to basically break this one apart using Control plus K. And I'm going to place this one here, change it to uppercase. All right. Change this one to, all right. So changes to uppercase. All right. So I'm going to basically bring this one here. Then I'm going to um, bring this one apart. All right. So we will change this to uppercase shift F3 in your keyboard. Now, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to place this one here. All right. So I'm going to place this one just right here. And this is what you're going to have. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to bring in my um, freehand tool, freehand tool on your tools bar. Just draw this way. If it's not straight, guys, if it's not straight, once it's this way, just basically hold your control key or your shift key. All right. Control key or your shift key. But what I'm holding is my shift key to make it straight. So I'm going to give it a white outline. If you want to apply white outline, you basically, um, you basically right click on the white color. And so let's set outline color. All right. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, select shift F12 for my keyboard. And I'm going to ap apply the weight to 0 0.75. And I'm going to click on OK. So the next thing I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to give this, I'm going to give this, um, this color, the pink color. And I'm going to select this color and give it um, the deep yellow. And um, this is basically what we're all going to have. So basically, guys, you have to apply colors that will match what we're doing. All right. So basically, now I'm going to just apply this, give this um, arcanes and give this bold. And I'm going to change this to what we call uppercase shift F3 on your keyboard. Then click on OK. And the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to basically reduce this and place this one just right here. Bring this one a little bit down. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to just um, 
basically reduce this one all right so the font we'll be making use of this is just area we'll leave that area and change it to uppercase and the next thing i'm going to do is click on ok now what i'm going to do now is i'm going to select my shape tool and um drag this just right here and make it fit into the frame like this all right if you want it to be in the center as you can see it was like this so hold shift and select this box this box and press letter c to make it fit into the middle all right guys so i'm actually um you know i'm actually uh, fixing up a course for you guys for beginners all right for beginners so you guys can but it's not actually free anyway guys the course is not free so i'm working on it anyway i'm working on it i'm still working on it now the next thing i'm going to do is i'm going to bring in this all right so since we are making use of the same fonts i'm going to just basically copy this and change this to tab first all right so i'm going to bring this one here tab first bring this one down to the first match all right so i'm going to just reduce this one and once i do that i'm going to scale this up bring this one here 9 pm all right so i'm going to reduce this bring it just right here all right so what i'm going to do now is uh I want to bring this one over here and bring in this rectangle to and draw a line just right here and give it a red comma remove the blacks the white stroke sorry and just leave that over there and the next thing i'm going to do guys is let's delete this since we have written it just right here and make sure it is aligned guys make sure it's aligned properly now the next thing i'm going to do is i'm going to select my um ellipse to or your over shape or you can call it the round corner and you can type something over here like um um drink responsibly all right so once you do that basically bring that over here and bring another one down here remove the bold unbold it and type www dot drink um IQ it's clean all right so now this is what you are going to have so you can see this red is not is not um 100% red it's not that RGB red so it's not that you know deep red so what I'm going to do is double click on this node over here and um basically come over to color viewer change to RGB and let's see the difference you can see how how bright that is and i'm going to just copy this and use plus type 18 plus all right on your keyboard so if you're not up to 18 you have to be 18 above to know to drink responsibly guys so this is basically what what you are going to have guys so if you're missing out on any other thing guys you can basically drop me a comment in the comment section below if you don't understand this video you can basically drop me a comment in the comment section below if you have any question guys please drop me a comment in the comment section below and guys give this video a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe and see you guys in my next video